Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's not just bothering me, but probably every single person that collects Pokemon cards, or as a content creator. As a content creator, it's hard enough to get your name out. It's hard enough to get notice, especially in the Pokemon community. There are so many people trying to be the next Leonhardt, being the next real breaking mate. The next Unlisted Leaf. Everybody wants to do that. If you're a Pokemon creator, you want to get noticed. And it's getting harder. And let me go ahead and tell you why. Let me tell you why I think it's harder. Ever since the Logan Paul box break, and some of these bigger sets like Champion's Path, which happen to have two Charizards, Vivid Voltage had this awesome Pikachu, then Shining Fates has another Charizard. The hype has been so high. I haven't seen hype like this since Pokemon originally came out. I've not seen it like this before. And this is probably worse. It's gotten to the point where some big box retail stores are no longer selling Pokemon cards. Just because of customer behavior, the scalpers, people pulling guns on each other. People fighting over Pokemon cards, over shiny cardboard, which is something that shouldn't be happening, but it is. And as a content creator, it's getting harder and harder to come up with new content. Then you guys know this. You guys know that you can't just go to a store these days and pick up some of your favorite Pokemon packs and open them up on your channel. You can't really do that. Unless you want to pay scalper prices, or if you get lucky on a restock day. But at this point right now, it's hard to do it on restock days because whenever you go there, you're only allowed to buy one item at a time. So once you go in, you can pick up your ETB or a single pack, and that's it. You can't get anything else. And it's getting kind of annoying because as a content creator, and I'm sure... Anybody that also collects Pokemon cards or has a Pokemon channel can say this. It's near impossible to get any content out. Because when your channel solely covers Pokemon, and this is why I'm trying to diversify a little bit. With the streams, we're moving away from Pokemon for a little bit and we're moving to other stuff. And I'll be making some more videos later on of some other things that are unrelated to Pokemon. Because I think that's the smart thing to do as a Pokemon channel is diverse, they diversify a little bit, just a little bit. But it still sucks that we have to do that. And the reason is, what it boils down to is some of the bigger creators has turned the uh, art <laughs> or the 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 pastime, the fun time of collecting Pokemon into investment videos, Pokemon investments, money videos. You, you might notice that everybody that does Pokemon videos, all the bigger YouTubers, every time they pull something awesome, they usually put the price right next to it. Because that's important, that's important. I don't know, I honestly don't know if that's something new or something that's been going on. I know Pokemon cards are worth stuff. It's worth money. I know there's a market for that. But I never knew that the market was this bad. To the point where you have the thousands of creators making videos just about investment. How much money you can make. How, what can you flip. Or, I sold my Pokemon cards and bought a house. I sold my Pokemon cards and I bought a car. Or I sold my Pokemon cards and I got a wife. Yeah. That happens. That happens. Uh, probably not the wife thing, but... You know, it's possible they do have melon brides. I mean, that's possible. That's a possibility, I think. Maybe. But it's not fun anymore. It's not really fun. 
And some of my favorite Pokemon YouTubers has kind of turned that way. If they haven't already. Leon Hart's one of my favorite creators. And I just... Actually, I, I just started watching Leon Hart last year. And I think he was already doing the prices on the screen. But I never paid much attention to it because... Whenever I started watching him, Pokemon was just, you know, a normal thing. You just go to your LGS or you go to Walmart and you can buy Pokemon cards. But now it's how much is these Pokemon cards worth? People are buying and scalping these things, selling them for three times the retail price. And the biggest Pokemon YouTubers, they're already sponsored. They're sponsored so they're able to get some of this product for free. Or they're able to get it somehow. I don't know how. I, I would like to know how. I don't know if they're paying scalper prices. I don't know if they are or not. I hope not. I hope I hope you guys aren't feeding into that. Because that's bullshit. Please don't be doing that. Please. Please, please, please. As, as, a, as a content creator to another content creator, please don't feed the scalpers. Don't feed into that bullshit, please. It's, it's, it's getting harder as it is. And like I said, it's, it's to the point now where some of the bigger box stores like Walmart, Target, they are no longer going to be selling Pokemon cards because, you know, you have to worry about people getting in fist fights or pulling guns. On each other for shiny cardboard, what it boils down to. And, you know, that's kind of happening too with like sports cards, pretty much any collectible thing right now. Anything that's collectible but may have value, it's, it's ruined. And that's what's happening now in Pokemon. It's getting to the point where being a collector or a content creator just isn't fun anymore. I don't want to make a YouTube video about investing in Pokemon. I don't want to put a price on every single card that I think is valuable on the screen. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I think it's stupid. I, I think it's dumb. And I know people are like that because people will like money. People like money and I don't blame you. I like money too. I love money. But I also love this hobby. I like this community a lot. And it's kind of annoying. It's, even some of my favorite YouTubers started talking about investment. They, they basically turned Pokemon into a stock market. Which, again, I don't know. This this is me. I'm coming from a late... Blo I'm a late boomer. <laughs> I, I'm a boomer when it comes to uh, Pokemon. So I started out in base set. Fossil, jungle. That's whenever I started playing. But I never worried about the price of things. Whenever I open my video, whenever you watch my unboxings, and my videos are not that great. I can go ahead and tell you, it's nothing compared to what Leon Hart makes or any other YouTuber. But I don't worry about the prices of something. I was like, I get excited? Yeah, I get excited whenever I get something. And it has value, but I don't really care about, you know, talking about the value. To me, it's just, it's fun. It's another card to add to my collection. And it's hard to be a Pokemon collector and a content creator when every single YouTuber is basically switched to top 10 most expensive cards, uh, top 10 investment tips. You see that everywhere. You see it everywhere. And it sucks. It's annoying. It's terrible. I think with Frosted Caribou, who made a video um, recently where she talked about that. It was about a month ago, maybe. And it had a lot. It had a big impact on a lot of creators. You've seen a lot of videos of people saying that. Ah, what she's saying is kind of dumb. I think everything she said was right. 
And that's not me trying to be a simp or anything. It's just me being honest. Everything she said was right. Even in the opening parts of the videos, we're showing all these creators talking about investment, talking about the price of, price of things, then showing the scalpers, like, what they leave behind. Dude, I... I, I get on Facebook every day. I, I, I'm on Facebook all the time. And I'm constantly looking in the marketplace. People selling Pokemon cards three times the retail price. It got to the point where people were following the vendors, trucks to different stores so they can clean them out. And you can see it on eBay, every, everything like that. You can see it on eBay, you can see it on Facebook, Craigslist, you name it. It's there. If you want, if you are into Pokemon cards and you've done any research, then you know that people are doing this. Even your favorite YouTubers even talk about this, but they don't really say, don't do that. They don't do that. I kind of feel like they're encouraging that. They're making the market artificially inflate. And I think there's going to be a crash. That's what I think. I think there's going to be a crash eventually. We're in this big bubble right now with hype so high. We haven't seen this type of hype in years. But eventually it's going to pop. And you're going to see a lot of these investment channels go away. Now, this might take a while. This could be this could be a couple months, a couple years. Eventually, that bubble will pop. And I hate that. I hate that because I love Pokemon. And I love, you know, getting my hands on new product. I like getting excited, seeing the new stuff that comes out. I like streaming. I like uh, opening up the boxes for you guys. And, you know, random packs here and there. I love doing that. But it's going to get to the point where people are going to get burnt out. People are going to get tired of it. Right now we're in a pandemic. There's nothing people can do. So what do I do? They find something like a TCG. And they try that out. A lot of it's for money though. A lot of it's for money. Vastly, vast majority of it is just about money. It sucks. Man, it really sucks, honestly. Like, it really does. And yeah, I'm bouncing all over the place. I always do. Every video I make, I bounce everywhere. I can't help it. I've got, I've got problems in my head. <laughs> it's not really an excuse, but it's true. It's true. But it sucks, dude. It's, it's depressing. When did Pokemon begin to become stocks when did it become about money all of a sudden I don't want to blame it just on Logan Paul I don't think he's I don't think he's the main person that did that now you did have channels like his that followed suit like Dumb Money and a few others uh, who, who was the uh, jack off uh, collector's Guru, uh, the $30,000 Bulbasaur guy. Yeah, that, that guy. I don't understand how it got to this point. I really don't. Now, I know, again, I know that Pokemon cards have value. And it would be kind of cool later on in life just to see how much these cards are going to be worth. But I don't really think everything should be about money. I don't think it should be. I just want to watch a channel open cards, not worry about the value, not worrying about the investment, but just have fun opening up the cards. Sharing their love of Pokemon with everyone. And I hate that my, the bigger YouTubers are going down that route. A lot of people are doing box breaks, which 
I don't think box breaks are, in my opinion, I think they're a scam. And I'm not going to say that it's wrong of you to contribute to it because, I mean, it's got its place. But it kind of sucks because there's channels that's solely about uh, breaking Pokemon card boxes. Selling packs for triple the amount just to get a, a shout out on somebody's video. I don't like that personally. I probably would never make that kind of content. And I'm not going to discriminate against you if you do. I don't, I don't want to do that. But hopefully, hopefully, soon, things will get a little bit better. Things will stop sucking real bad. <laughs> when it comes just to video content creation or just collecting. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. That's probably not the best words to say. I'm, I'm making a video about Pokemon cards. Watch the language, kids! Yeah. I have a dirty mouth sometimes. But I've just been depressed, man. Just depressed lately. Like, the only thing anymore... I, like, I, I went to my local game store, and I was able to get a few packs of Vivid Voltage. Uh, they limit three, three packs per day. So I'll go in, and I bought some packs. Open them up. Anymore, I'm just buying singles. Because it's not fun anymore. Like, it's not fun because you can't get anything. Take a look at EV Heroes coming out. Normally, a booster box of Pokemon cards in Japan is usually about $50, $60. People are selling EV Heroes, and it's not even out yet, upwards to $150 to $160 or more. Same, same thing with, like, some of the future sets that hasn't even fully been announced yet. People have pre-orders out for Chilling Rain. They had to cancel the pre-orders because a lot of places are not taking pre-orders. The bots are eating them up. I don't even think I'm going to be able to get a hold of any EV heroes or Chilling Rain. The allocation numbers right now is terrible for Chilling Rain right now. Uh, especially at my local gaming store. Not not to mention there's other gaming stores in my area that are selling well above retail. And I applaud my favorite store, the Goblin Traders. This isn't sponsored. I just want to say it. They sell everything at retail. They're not greedy. And I think a lot of these other LGSs, you know, they, they say they have to riot, raise the prices due to demand. But you're alienating your loyal customers. You're basically saying fuck off to all the other people who supported you out through the years. That maybe that's just me. But that's how I feel about it. I, I don't think... I, I think it's bullshit. I think it is. But I just want... I just want to be able to open some packs. Enjoy the hobby. Not worrying about the money aspect of it. Not worrying about the greedy investment side of it. I like to see my favorite YouTubers go back to making content that's not wholly concentrated on how much money you're going to make. Off Pokemon cards. I just want them to genuinely make a video about liking Pokemon cards, opening Pokemon cards, playing the Pokemon games, you know, talking about that content. And yeah, there's there's a YouTuber I watch, her name's the it's called the Confusing Words. And she makes pretty good content, and it's not about money. In a way, her content is like mine. She opens it up. She doesn't really talk about the uh, the money aspect of it. Really awesome. And I'm hoping I can have her on the next uh, PokeCast. I I'm hoping... I've talked to her a couple times. Um, 
and we've just been so busy. It's been hard to really get back, and I'm hoping I can get her on the next PokeCast. And whenever that does happen, I'll let you guys know. She's really cool. Check her channel out. Give her a follow. Um, yeah, man, it sucks, dude. It sucks. And I, you know, I got you guys here for 20 minutes. <laughs> I think you heard enough of it. I'm, I, I think at this point, the further I go down, the more it's going to be me whining about it. And there's not much I can do about it. The only thing I can do is continue making Pokemon content the way I want to and not concentrate on money or investment. And I kind of hope that some of the other people follow suit and just make content that has nothing to do with money. Just take the money equation out of it. Just have fun with it. That's what I think that should happen. I don't know if that's ever going to go back to that way. I think we're going to be like this for the rest of time. <laughs> as long as the hobby exists, this is going to be a thing. There's going to, probably not going to be any changes. But I'm kind of hoping the bubble kind of bursts a little bit. And I hate to say that. I hate to, I hate to say that. It sucks, but I kind of hope that the bubble finally bursts. And maybe we can get content creators making content that's actually meaningful to the community and not greedy. But you guys have a great day. I definitely appreciate you guys uh, checking us out. Uh, one thing I wanted to let you guys know, once we hit 500 followers, I'm going to be giving away either a copy of the new Pokemon Snap. Or I'm going to try to get you guys... A boost, not a booster box, but a elite trainer box of Pokemon. Um, hopefully, one of those two. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to 500, and I definitely appreciate it. It would be kind of cool to hit it by May 22nd, which is my birthday. But if we don't, we don't. It happens. We, all I can say is we tried. But other than that, guys, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Hopefully, more content. Hopefully, with more Pokemon content.